You will feel the change happening rapidly as you do the work. Not that it's happening overnight, but you will feel it moving quicker than you realize what happened. So be encouraged, be inspired. And then you have the world. What Greetings, else? beloved human. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to the Libra full moon lunar eclipse reading. This full moon is going to be happening on Monday, March 25th with the Libra full moon lunar eclipse. This is a time to reset emotional patterns. There could be uh, deep transformations, possible sudden changes. We can also break patterns with this full moon eclipse. Um, be aware, unresolved emotional issues may surface, and this is a time we can cleanse our emotions. We can also set intentions for renewal and rejuvenation for the months ahead up into uh, for the next three months. Until then, you know, in the next three months on April 8th, there will be a total solar eclipse. But right now, we're here to focus on the Libra full moon lunar eclipse coming up. I have pulled from my moonology deck the surrender to the divine full moon a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra as well as conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse right we're expecting all of this for the libra full moon lunar eclipse I've already blessed and shuffled my decks of cards. Let's find out what spirit needs us to know about this upcoming full moon. Temperance comes up first. Along with Knight of Cups. I'm going to pull the other cards. Just not going to flip them yet. Give us some... A chance to get through this rather quickly, if you will, right? So, with we're seeing right now, so surrender to the divine, temperance, and as well as Knight of Cups. With the full moon, surrendering to the divine. Again, this is going to be a deeply emotional and transformative time. So the temperance card is here to remind us to find balance so that we are not overwhelmed with our emotions during this time of the full moon lunar eclipse, right? Um, it could, We could easily sway one way or the other with our emotions during this full moon, but spirit is reminding us to keep a balance, moderation, right? And then the Knight of Cups shows up. And this is interesting because we are going to, what I'm feeling is there is an emotional death that's going to happen. This is a time to surrender um, those unresolved emotional issues that are more than likely to rise to the surface. So during this full moon lunar eclipse, there's an emotional death. You're going to address those emotions that have been unresolved for quite some time now. You're going to face them head on, beloved, and then we are going to deal with it and let that die. That is what the Knight of Cups is, is showing me. That is what I'm feeling with that Knight of Cups. This is absolutely, the, the full moon is absolutely a time for change. This is a time to absolutely surrender to the divine uh, and the call on your life, right? Let's get some more clarification. We have the nine of pentacles as well as the three of pentacles. With this emotional death of the unresolved emotional issues that we are definitely going to face head on. This is going to take a team effort. Beloved human, spirit is asking you to depend on your spirit guides, depend on your angels and your ancestors as your spiritual team to get you through this emotional, deeply emotional time of transformation. 
That's what I'm feeling with this three of pentacles. Definitely a time of teamwork because it's going to take you acknowledging that these emotions are unresolved in order to for you to address them and surrender them to the universe. Let them go, right? And what I'm feeling with the nine of pentacles, it will give you a sense of completion. You will have completed dealing with those unresolved emotions unresolved emotions it it will come to an end because you will surrender to the divine when you deal with these emotions that have been constraining you for quite some time you're going to come to a place of being rewarded for actually addressing and dealing with those emotions that is what i'm getting with this nine of pentacles it will bring you to a place of completion once again because you're not shying away from it. And, and you absolutely are going to need the assistance of your spiritual team. This is a team effort. Your spiritual team, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides can help you to get through this deeply emotional time right? There's the death of the unresolved coming to you during this Libra full moon lunar eclipse, right? Let's move on to a win-win outcome is forecast, the full moon in Libra. What I'm feeling for that, though this will be emotionally difficult because this is, a, I mean, emotions are going to stir up. Be aware of that. You're not going to be caught off guard. Emotions are going to stir up during this full moon in Libra. And being that it's a, a, a lunar eclipse, this is going to be that much more powerful for some than others. But everyone is going to feel this, right? But the win-win outcome is you're dealing with the unresolved emotions. You're dealing with unresolved connections and relationships, right? You're dealing with that. As difficult as it may be, everyone wins because now we have made the effort to stand and look what is challenging us. Look it dead in the eye and say, I see you. I'm dealing with this and you're going to come out on top. That is what I feel with this win-win outcome is forecast for the full moon in Libra. And the tarot is telling us with the high priestess and judgment, major, major wins for you, beloved. Major wins. With releasing, dealing with and releasing those unresolved emotions with the high priestess, you're going to have an abundance of joy. You're going to have an abundance of that win-win feeling, right? So much balance. It'll feel like a weight is lifted. So much balance in your life. Just feeling harmonious. I mean, just out of the blue, just singing or whistling or humming is what I'm getting with this high priestess showing up for the full moon in Libra card, right? All of the, the subconscious, unresolved, emotional issues will be revealed. And with the high priestess, as you deal with it, your intuition is heightened. You are more abundant with joy and uh, a lightness about you, just feeling really light. And then with the judgment card, an absolute awakening to a brand new life where your emotions don't control you, but you control your emotions. That's what I'm feeling with this judgment card for you, beloved. This, this is just a, it's a rebirth for you when you do the work. Doing the work could, could entail journaling. It could entail um, deep uh, meditation. It could turn, it could entail walking meditation, walking in nature, being intentional about every step you take and just being one with nature. That it, walking meditations are very, very, um, rejuvenating and insightful, but there's a rebirth ahead for you, an abundance ahead for you, emotional, uh, 
emotional balance because we have to reset these unresolved emotions. We have to reset any old emotional patterns that have not served you well and understanding that we can come become anew. We can be reborn. We can awaken to our highest emotional self with this full moon in Libra. Two of Swords and Six of Swords. Absolutely. Spirit is showing you, beloved, for this Libra full moon lunar eclipse that it is time to move away from those old emotional patterns that no longer serve you. The letting emotions control you instead of you controlling emotions. It's time to move away with this Six of Swords from reacting and move toward responding. Because when you react, you are a slave to your anger. You are a slave to your uh, your emotions when you react. But when you respond, you are the master of your emotions. You are the master of your life. And you get to decide how it's going to go next in that situation. So Spirit is telling you it's time to move away from the stormy emotional patterns you've been living with. Reset this emotional balance for yourself. Do not... Use your natural eyes during this work. Use your spiritual eye and, and your heart to help you reset your emotions is what I'm feeling. Do not block yourself from doing the work. Do not defeat yourself with negative self-talk and disbelief before you even get started. Do not block the blessing of relief and rebirth and growth and awakening. Do not block yourself from being awarded this win-win outcome during this full moon lunar eclipse. All right, let's move on to conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach because you're using your spiritual eye and you are making use of your spiritual team to help you through this emotional reset. This is what I'm feeling. The conclusions will be made clear to you. They will be made available to you when you go within and rely on your spiritual team. It's within your reach to do the work and you will be granted a win, right? Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, wow. <clears throat> this is the place you want to be. This is the time. That emotional reset that the uh, full moon lunar eclipse offers, that emotional reset offers you a new beginning. It offers you an opportunity to become inspired again, an opportunity to be creative with how you will handle things emotionally going forward. This is all within your reach. You are the master of your life. You are a co-creator of the life you desire. And Spirit is showing you with the Ace of Wands, you absolutely can do this, right? It's a new beginning. And with that new beginning, you begin planning the life you desire, right? You begin to plan what it is you'll do with things that bring you joy. With this three of wands, you are looking ahead because you have been reborn and renewed and awakened with this judgment card. So the three of wands is saying, continue to look ahead, expand your life. Create create the life that you desire. There, there's rapid growth available to you with this three of wands. Your ships are going to come in. The conclusions are within reach. Those ships are within reach and they're only getting closer to you as you continue to create the life of you desire, of your desire. Create a life that inspires you, right? Five of wands. And the world. Ooh, yes. Five of Wands 
We understand there's going to be challenge. There's going to be change that you're undergoing with this emotional reset during the full moon lunar eclipse. It's not going to be easy, but it's absolutely within your reach because a win is in your forecast. You will win this challenge in front of you. Do not be hesitant because the five of wands comes up for you. This not only represents change or challenge, but this also represents freedom. You will be free from the emotional uh, things that tie you down. You'll be free from having your emotions control you. You will find liberation once you do the work, which you absolutely have the ability to do, relying on your spiritual team, right? It's within your reach. The conclusion is you come out on top. You come out emotionally well from this. For the next three months from this this full moon lunar eclipse, we have until now, from now until the solar eclipse in April. So it's absolutely doable. It will be rapid growth. You will feel you will feel the change happening rapidly as you do the work. Not that it's happening overnight, but you will feel it moving quicker than you realize what happened. So be encouraged, be inspired. And then you have the world. What else could you ask for? Spirit is showing you. This is your win-win forecast. This is the conclusion that is within your reach with this world card. Fulfillment completion because you did the work you didn't shy away from the work you weren't blind to the fact that the work needed to be done so you can have an emotional reset do you know how many beautiful things come into your life how abundant your life will be how fulfilling your life will be when you get a, an emotional reset to put things back into balance, to put things back into harmony. Your relationship with yourself will improve. The relationship with your family, friends, colleagues, and co-workers will improve. Your life will become stable, right? You will feel more secure in who you are, liberation and freedom the joy that you will have in your life. It's just a whole transformation, a renewing and rejuvenating of your emotional body. When our emotional body is intact, our mental body thrives. Our physical body thrives. Our spiritual body thrives. It starts from the heart. It starts from the emotions, beloved humans. This is a beautiful sign. The completion is within reach. The world is yours. Do this work because it only elevates you and you deserve the best life yet.